Hey. How are you? Good. Nice to meet y'all. Man, it's like we have our own little family over here, you know? We're here, guys. I mean, we're in med school. I feel pretty overwhelmed already. Have you guys started on any of the lectures for this week yet? It's been years since I've done biochem, and I'm having trouble remembering yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I can help you. No problem. Um, it's, it's kind of funny, actually. Uh, when I was a sophomore at Penn, uh, I got 100% of my biochemistry, and it's because I have this near-perfect photographic memory. I actually remember the Krebs cycle back from when I learned it in the sixth grade. Photographic memories occur sometimes too. If only I could forget what I saw on those par on those tapes in my parents' bedroom. Nice. Let's all trade numbers and maybe we can study sometime. Oh, hey guys. Sorry I'm late. I just had to deliver a baby on the people mover. Holy shit. Dude, we barely started med school. That's crazy. Wait, why the fuck were you on the people mover? Just like standing there and then all of a sudden this woman next to me starts screaming and I look down and my shoes are completely soaking wet. Which like isn't the first time I've got fluids on me on public transit. But like her water literally broke right there and everything. And they stopped the train because they wanted to get an ambulance. But you know, since I went to med school to help people, I took matters in my own hands. I mean, literally, I had that baby in my hands in like two minutes. And it wasn't that hard too. I literally just Googled how to deliver a baby and found a YouTube video and just like double streamed it real quick while I tried to get everything together. And then before I knew it, that baby was right there. Weren't you scared? Eh, I mean, it wasn't like the craziest thing I've ever done. Like one time back in Boy Scouts, my buddy fell from this cliff and got this giant gash on his like entire leg. And all you need to do is I took a belt and made a makeshift tourniquet out of it and then just sewed him up with some fishing line real quick while waiting for the helicopter. Really not that hard. I mean, anyways, what are you guys up to? Oh, uh, we're, we're just talking about uh, how we're going to study for uh, the next exam. But um, since all of us are here now, uh, we can talk about like our, our P4 project. Um, so we have to make this like a diorama thing that's like going to be a presentation and last like 15 minutes. Um, you guys want to get started on that? For what audience? I don't know. Um, it just said a 15 minute diorama on a health topic. There was no rubric, no learning objectives, no examples. Nothing. You know what? Let's do a project about cardiovascular health. I'm super passionate about cardiovascular health, improving it with diet and exercise. Oh, if everyone just followed my speed walking Instagram page and just ate more kale, we could fix like all of the health issues in America. By the way, follow my Instagram page. So, uh, did you guys hear about PBNG yet? I think that veganism is probably the way of the future. I mean, it's more sustainable, uh, it's good for your heart, and also in casual conversation, everybody loves hearing about it. Oh my gosh, $500 a week for a totally remote job? That's awesome. Have we met Dr. M Nikki McNeil on any of our orientation things? He looks like he may have been one of my dancing clients. I mean, I've never met him, but it's from a Wayne State address, so seems legit. I mean, isn't this great, guys? Day one, and we're already getting job offers. This place is awesome. 